Hi everyone, my name is Tegan Earhart. I work at the Lincoln City Libraries with the Read Aloud Lincoln program. And I'm here today to talk about how you can use stories and picture books to be curious and ask questions. So there are a lot of opportunities while you're reading books to ask a ton of questions and be really curious. Some people think that when you start a book, the most important thing to do is finish the book. But I say it's great to be interrupted and it's great to ask questions and be curious about what you're seeing on the pages. One of the most fun things to do and be curious about is to think about the ways the things in the picture uh, relate to things in your real life. So when you're looking at, for example, a book about plants and gardens, you can talk about the plants that you see outside. You can even get really curious and go outside and go on a little plant hunt. And it's okay if that interrupts your book reading and you come back to it later. There's also a lot of opportunities for kids to ask questions like, what is that? Or why, why did things grow that way? And stopping and pausing to answer those questions or even look up answers to those questions can also be a really fun way to add to your book reading. Now, sometimes book reading uh, is not always as smooth as you might want it to be, or you might have kids who have wiggles or are a little bit stir crazy and ready to move around. So I also have some tips for reading aloud and ways you can make it a positive experience for everyone. The first thing to remember is it's it can be really fun to get comfy. So you can grab a favorite stuffed animal uh, and read to them or cuddle up with them while you're reading. And that can add a nice comforting element to reading together. Some kids really like to be mobile. And th this is my reminder to you that it's okay to have kids moving around while you're reading to them. Uh, just because they're moving doesn't mean they're not listening. So even if your kid needs to stand up or jump or wiggle in the middle of a story, that could be all right you can keep reading and they're probably still listening. Sometimes it's fun to do the things that are happening in books. So if kids, for example, one of my favorite books is Going on a Bear Hunt. There are lots of actions you can do during that story that match what's happening in the book that give kids a little bit more freedom to move around. Uh, another tip is to establish a routine. So I'm sure a lot of you are thinking about new routines that you've made for yourselves. Adding in story time or book time to that routine can help it go more smoothly. The first couple days, maybe you only read for a couple minutes, but every day as you read at that same time, kids will get, get better and better at listening to stories for longer amounts of time. Um, another thought as you are maybe not getting the opportunity to go to some of your favorite places is to think about storybooks or looking up pictures online and telling stories about some of your favorite spots like the museum. So finding books that are related to the favorite places that you have gone in the past. Being curious about uh, remembering what it was like to be at those places or talking about the times that you will get to go again in the future it can be a really great way to connect the books you're reading to maybe some of the things that you're missing. So don't forget to be curious and ask questions. Great to see everyone. Bye.